Hey, what's up, guys? Donnie here, and you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77. And when we return, I got the JJRC. This is the H68 Bellwether. Right after this. Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, today I got the JJRC. This is the H68. Uh, on the box it says Bellwether, uh, also known as the Navigator, guys. So you'll probably see it uh, on, on different links and stuff saying Navigator. Uh, it, it will on this link because this is courtesy of Hobby RC, guys. So uh, Hobby RC, I do thank you guys for sending this out today. Uh, when they asked me to do, uh, if I'd like to go and do a review on this, I, I said yes, definitely, because it says it's supposed to have 20 minutes of flight time. So that's what I wanted to see. If it's got 20 minutes of flight time, that's going to be awesome, guys. So, hey, I'm not going to sit here and bore you to death with the unboxing. For those that want to see everything that came into the box, stick around after the flight. I'll go and have a video and let you see what came inside. So, all right, guys, let's go do the flight and let's get this thing up in the air. Stay tuned. Hey, I went and assembled this really quick. I'm not going to show that in the video. It's pretty common knowledge. You know, you're just going to go and screw down these two landing gear. Um, and you guys will see at the end of the video what comes in the package. Uh, so anyways, you got the camera here. It's uh, 720p. So we'll see how that does. Wi-Fi, FPV. There is no SD card slot. So everything will be recorded from the JJRC app on your Android or iOS device so uh, this is what I want to show you before I take it up in the air here's the battery that's supposed to give us the 20 minute flight here it's 3.7 volt 30 C and it's 1800 milliamps so uh, we'll see how that does I've got the JSD connector there so we're just gonna slide it in here plug it in and then uh, this just comes back over comes back over and then just closes like that it's not super secure but it will hold guys so all right your on and off switch is um, oh that's what I was going to show you too uh, when you put this on this just slides on and off right here so it's real easy you'll just unplug the camera and then uh, this will just slide right off of here if you guys want to go and remove it and it just slides back on and snaps in there so that's all you got to do they plugged this off because they probably had something else there. Uh, but anyways, the on and off switch is right here, guys. So all you have to do is turn it on and then bind it. We'll do that right now. And then we're going to go for the flight. So, Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the quad. Let me turn on the quadcopter here. Let me get it on a little bit level surface here. I want a bunch of rocks here. Okay, let me turn on the controller. It's already bound, so you don't have to go up, down, or anything like that. When you turn it on, it will link with the quadcopter. That's why the light's staying uh, red on the controller, and the lights aren't flashing anymore. Okay, so, all right, on this, I like it because they labeled all the buttons. You got uh, only two rates, high and low. Uh, you got uh, the 360 flips. Then you got your trim buttons right here, guys. Uh, this... It's just you have to press it okay that's for headless mode all right press it again to shut off headless mode this is one key takeoff one key land okay turning the knobs don't do anything so I downloaded the JJRC app so let me press on that press connect if you guys can see that there's a glare so I apologize um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Wi-Fi turn on Wi-Fi so I can connect. All right, we are connected to the UAV. So, all right, so now I got picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press record on here, guys. So now we have picture and we do have a delay. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty bad, but you know, it's pretty basic to every Wi-Fi FPV that are toy grade, so. We're just going to have to see how it does. Like I said, there's no SD card slot, so everything's going to be recorded here on your uh, device here. So it's going to go through the app. 
Um, let me take a couple snapshots here, and we'll see how that see how that goes here. I'll put a couple snapshots here. Let's do the sky. On this, it actually has a setting on here that you uh, you can go and uh, make the pictures a little more high definition. So uh, you can fly this quadcopter from the app uh, just using your Android or iOS device. Uh, so you can do some stuff on there. It also has uh, some other things uh, like a, a point of interest. So uh, we might try that out. It's kind of windy over here, so I don't like doing those type of things on these apps. Um, I'm not too sure if it's just when you're using, uh, when you're flying with your device, if that's, uh, you know, for you to be able to use that uh, function or not, or if you can actually use that point of interest while you're connected to the controller. So I'm going to press record, and we'll see what the flight time is, and we'll go from there. One key takeoff. There we go. It is altitude hold, guys. So I will probably go and uh, do some trim because it's super windy. All right, I did a little trim. The wind's blowing that way, guys. So all right, I'm gonna check this out. As you can see, I'm full pitch forward, and the wind just stops. So it's not very fast. In low rate, it's not fast at all. So that's interesting to see. Let me do some more trim, forward trim here. Kind of got a little bit of a glitch, as you guys can see when I forward. See, it's kind of, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a robot when you're when you're flying here. Uh, so, but you know, who's to say it's got a Wi-Fi camera? And sometimes you guys know Wi-Fi FPV interferes. Uh, when your controller interferes with the Wi-Fi FPV, so that goes the mail, man. Let me put it in high rate. Well, first let's do low rate. And here's the yaw and low rate. Okay, there we go. And it's trying to fight the wind that's coming over this way. All right, let's put it in high rate. Okay, it's a little bit better there, guys. Take it for a little flight and see. You can't adjust the camera. A little slow. But it's not too bad. It's just a beginner quad, guys. Let me see if I got the camera adjusted enough. Let me tilt the camera up and bring it back. I'm going to do an automatic land here by pressing this button. Okay, here we go. All right, the automatic land's working good. Let me adjust this camera up a little bit, guys. That way we can get a little more pitch here as we're flying forward. Let's try that. All right. And if you want to take off just on your own, you can press the levers down or stop them that way. So I'm going to go ahead and lift up now. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. That way I'm not staring at the ground when I'm full pitch forward. So altitude holds working pretty good, guys. A little twitchy here, but not too bad. Go slow for, for film in here. Let's just try going slow a little bit. Try to do a little aerial filming, see how that does. Just got to always remember, cameras on these toy grades most of the time are just, it's just kind of a gimmick a little bit, just just for the beginner to be able to see, you know, be able to see from their drone, so you, you can't expect uh, super high quality definition filming. But it is 720p, so uh, it's not too bad. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys suffer and see. Uh, this whole 20 minutes, uh, when it gets close to the time, I'll I'll go and bring the timer out so you guys could see that. Try sideways. Yep, 
It does sideways, okay? The wind's starting to push it. Let's try forward flip. All right. Forward flip. All right, not too bad. You know, it's not too bad for a toy, you know? I'll be interested to know if it goes to flies for 20 minutes. That was, That'd be pretty cool. It's got a pretty big battery, so as you can see, they kind of clone this to look like the one of the CGI products. You know, they even did the gold on top. Uh, you can get this in white as well, guys. So It's not too sporty, but it, you know, it flies okay. I'm gonna get a little aggressive with it so I can see how it does when you're you're in high rate. And see how long that battery lasts. There's my boy right there, Donnie the Third, and my nephew Aiden. And oh yes, uh, Brian from True Drone Reviews, Donnie's still playing with the Falcon, so he does still love that quad, so <laughs> it's still being flown. <laughs> so we're out here having a good time flying and doing reviews. See if I can film that other quad there. There we go. But anyways, I'm standing back up because I want my son to go ahead and give it a shot. So this is the same like that other one, but it's not manual. So what you're going to do is you can either like this to see it starts up the motors and then you just lift up you lift up on it and it'll and it'll come up it's got altitude hold so okay yep just do a little bit at a time there you go so you don't need much my son's 10 years old and this is his first time flying in uh this drone right here so right now the camera's facing forward so that's forward over there so it's a little twitchy guys so he's got to get used to it. He's used to flying a manual flyer. So this is a little bit different when that out, that barometer kind of catches everything. So I just wanted you guys to see his first impression on flying this, uh, not ever flying uh, this quad before. I think he's flown an altitude hold drone one time. Uh, and that was a, a bigger one. Now just press forward towards me. No, 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 the other way, the other way. Yep. So, so far, so far so good. I had to go and grab the controller real quick because it was starting to go behind that tree and he lost orientation for just a second, guys. So, it happens to all of us. This is his first time flying this one. So, he likes the manuals to where it starts to get away from him. He can just, you know, put the, put the lever down and it would just drop, you know. Okay, now come back. Put it down a little bit so you don't, uh, the wind don't take it. Because if you go past them trees right there, it's a lot more windier. All right, guys. So, so far he's trying it out. It's in uh, high rate right now, so it helped cut through the wind. You know, so far so good, especially for his first time flying it, so... All right, guys, we're coming on the 20-minute mark, but I have to take off at least almost one minute because uh, I was switching the controls over to my son so he could test this out. So uh, we're actually at about 19 minutes so far, guys. That's not bad at all. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to just kind of hover here, you know, not take it too far from me so it doesn't drop. I can tell it don't have as much power now. It's taking a little more effort. See, I'm in full pitch forward in high rate. 
I know the wind picked up. So, see if it still lets me do flips. Now, no flips, so you know the battery's getting really low. It's flashing right there, so I'm going to keep it low here. See what kind of time we can get, guys. All right, guys. Hey, this is my conclusion. Over 20 minutes of flight time. That's it. Definitely, it definitely did what they said. I, I know I got 20 minutes and more. Uh, the only, uh, if you want to deduct a minute or less for me handing the controller over to my son and uh, him taking back off with it, you can. But if not, you look. 22 minutes and 41 seconds is pretty darn good, guys. I didn't expect it to even get close. I thought maybe 12 to 15 minutes, but yeah, uh, over 20 minutes, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. So, JJRC, that's great that you guys did that. So that way, uh, kids can, and even adults can have fun for a little bit longer than than the five-minute uh, battery. So, uh, Hobby NRC, thank you guys for sending this out. Uh, it was a pleasure doing a review on this, uh, and my son likes it. So this is actually going to work out pretty good for for him to to mess around with the altitude hold quadcopter so uh, the only downfall guys is a camera uh, no SD slot on there I wish they would have done that uh, the Wi-Fi uh, camera on this ain't very well so it's just more of a toy thing so people can just take a picture or something like that but uh, anyways all right guys hey thanks for watching stick around to the end if you want to see what came in the box uh, like always God bless cheers and happy flying guys all right, guys. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in for that flight at first. Uh, for those who wanted to see what came in the kit, uh, the propellers, of course, are already on. You just have to put the four little caps on here. And uh, the camera is very easy. The dampener right here for the camera mount, it just snaps on. Uh, then the camera just slides right on top uh, here and then snaps in. So you just slide that on there, and then it locks in, and then all you have to do is just plug it in here, guys. So then it's ready to go. Here's your battery tray where you plug it in. Uh, the battery um, here is a, uh, so it's an 1800 milliamp, uh, 3.7 volt, and it's actually 30C, which is a pretty good discharge uh, rate. So that's probably why we're getting, you know, 21, 22 minutes out of that flight. So that's that's really nice uh you'll have to put on the landing gear which is easy it's just two screws on each side there they provide a screwdriver in the kit which is here they actually give you which i was surprised they give you uh two extra landing gear so in case you break them i guess so got two extra landing gear you got your manuals here so you have uh your uh what do we got here? Shooter manual. I guess there's some games for iOS. Then you got your uh, regular manual here that tells you all the controls. Tells you uh, which is the Android systems here. To, you can use Android or um, iOS. So it's got different uh, Android for system 4.44 version. You got 4.44 uh, version right here. And then you got the JJRC. So it gives you a couple different Android uh, versions you can you can do here. So, so it's got a pretty good detailed uh, manual there. You got your JST uh, charger, uh, so you can uh, USB this uh, into a computer or into a wall plug, which I do. So um, then you got your controller, of course, and it comes with your alligator clip here to hold your phone so that just slides on here there's no bolting anything on slides on there and then you can go and clip your phone in there guys so uh like i said uh when i was doing the flight review it's pretty cool how they label the button so everything's self-explanatory uh, and plus you can find it in the manual if needed so it'll sit there and tell you the the controls right here towards the front here so um so that's one key reset. See, I didn't understand that at first when I was true when I was doing the flight. That uh, I thought that was headless mode. So um, headless mode, I ended up pressing was uh, up here where the flip mode is. You hold it down. 
uh, for a few seconds and it goes into headless mode. If you just tap it once, it will put it in uh, into the flip mode. So, But I tried headless mode. It didn't want to work. It kind of tried to fly off in one direction. So, But this one key reset, that might be for... Um, maybe like calibration after uh maybe after crashing or something i'm not too sure uh i didn't see anything in here about it i was trying to read on it before i did this video but i didn't see that in there but you do have eight propellers uh four that's already on there and four spares so that makes it nice guys uh, like i said screwdriver and of course you got your prop guard so all right, guys, nothing too big in there, nothing special, just your basics that you get with your drone. So, all right, guys, hey, thanks for watching the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the flight, this unboxing, and I sure appreciate everybody's support. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and please share this video if you liked it. So, all right, guys, hey, God bless. Take care.